on uh, my Anchor e-bike. This thing has uh, done me pretty well. I'm on the road right now. I make uh, a 12 mile trip back and forth every day from you know, work to home, home to work, home to dialysis, and dialysis back to home. I've gone grocery shopping on this thing. I got bags that I can put a couple of things in. If I think I'm gonna do an extensive amount of shopping, I will bring a backpack with me. Um, it's not like I'm gonna put a gallon of milk in there or anything like that. But as far as uh, small foods and stuff like that, I will. I have a roommate that'll meet me at the grocery store if if we plan on doing like hundreds of, do hundreds of dollars of uh, shopping. Uh, I apologize for the, the noise. Uh, like I said, I'm on the road right now. This is uh, Highway 84. This is what I get to look at every day. They call this, they call Alabama Alabama the Beautiful. Well, there's a damn good reason for it. Alabama is fucking beautiful. We have lush greenery everywhere. We may not be at the beach, but we're less than two hours away from the beach. That would be the Gulf Coast. bumps and going through the dirt, grass, and everything else that I needed to go through. We are about to be picking up speed here. On a flat way, we go roughly, I'm assuming, around 20 miles an hour. But as I go down this hill that we're about to go down, right here, probably reach top speed of 30, 35 miles an hour. Uh, I haven't done this one-handed yet, but hey, there's always a first for everything, right? Um, right now, I'm on the way to go to the taco truck where I eat at every single day. Um, my buddy Gabriel, He's one of the best cooks that I know. And Monita, she's the owner of the Mexican grocery that the taco truck is at. Oh, by the way, they're opening up another restaurant, or their first restaurant, actually. They have a taco truck, which isn't a restaurant, but they have seating on the inside of the grocery. Anything authentic Mexican, that is definitely, definitely the place to go. I don't want to have anybody else cook my food for me. I want to have any other better company than these people, also. Even though Monita doesn't speak very much English, she's a very pretty lady and she's very, very nice. Um, I love these people to death. Right here, I believe, where that sign is up there, that's going to be one of their other uh, restaurants because they have just too much damn food stored away in a warehouse. See, look at this. Now, if this ain't beautiful, I don't know what is. I mean, you can go to all these other 
cities and states and you know places like Texas and Arizona and you know all of them kind of places right there they don't have lush greenery everywhere where it's just nice it's just nice it's all I can really say thing I will say about Alabama is that it's so far behind on pretty much anything and everything and in which is a good way yet a bad way at the same time it's a good way because our living expenses here are very inexpensive I don't like to use the term cheap because when people come get a tattoo and they say they want a cheap tattoo, I get offended like you slap me in the face. So I won't say that about Alabama's way of living. We are very inexpensive here until everything starts to catch up. Um, let's see, back to the bike. I do need to get me some uh, road tires. That it would get me an extra mile or two before the battery goes dead. Right now, I have some dirt tires. I'm not sure if you can see it. But the dirt tires, they actually help me a little bit too whenever I'm going down, you know, dirt roads, of course. But I don't really go down too many dirt roads because my bike is specifically meant to get me back to work, to work in dialysis, which are paved roads the whole way. The shock system is good. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it works out for what I, I need right now. Um, the seat. I had to change that out. For some reason, there's another guy on the internet. He was uh, or he ordered one of these bikes, exact same bike, blue and black, everything. Well, lo and behold, what do you know? They sent him a fucking red and black seat. He was like, God damn, you know, I, why in the hell is there a red and black seat to go along with a blue and black bike? shit didn't match whatsoever and what do you know when I ordered my bike what kind of seat do you think they sent me you think they sent me a blue and black one oh hell no they sent me the same goddamn seat they sent the other guy the red and fucking black one now why in the hell would you send a red and black seat with a blue and black bike I don't know Either way, even if it was black and blue, it still was uncomfortable as fuck. So I went to Walmart and I purchased me a big old wide seat, which is very comfortable. It takes a lot of the, uh, uh, oh shit, here we go. Damn river tracks, always. And when you hit them things, the bike starts to slow down put a little bit of pressure on the pedals and here we go it starts to climb back up again if you use the pedal assist you get a lot more mileage on your bike it doesn't use up quite as much of the battery as it would if you were just pressing the uh, using the throttle I wouldn't want to just use the throttle anyway because that's boring. I want a pedal. I need, I need the exercise. And I want the exercise. I enjoy riding a bicycle. Even though I'm 40 years old, um, I'll be getting another vehicle here soon. I just don't know what I want. Should I get a van, like a big ass conversion van again, or a motorcycle, or a car? Well, I want all three. If I got a motorcycle, that's my love, of course, because I'm on a bicycle too. 
this is about the closest I can come right now to a motorcycle because I have no license or anything like that but if I get a car well that means I would have to fold my bike in half and lift it up inside the trunk every time I wanted to go somewhere and use it but if I got a van I can just push that shit right up in there or use a tailgate hitch for an actual bike stand see right now I just put it on put the mode on low because I'm coming up to the circle uh, what is it called bow weevil circle or some shit like that and uh, I'm gonna have to turn this off because there's just too much damn traffic um, so if you guys have any comments or anything of the sort or advice again I'm always up for the advice from folks um, I try not to t take things too much to heart some things that I do um, and also that last video with the whole military Fort Rucker going to jail and everything there was about 90 viewers that saw that video right there if you do see that video and you copied or pasted or shared or mirrored or anything like that well I guess there's not a damn thing I can do about it huh but anyways you know I'm gonna try to not do that anymore um, what my goal was is to post and upload these videos without any kind of editing whatsoever because I've been seeing a lot of uh, videos for the past year and a half that they do a lot of uh, raw footage and as time goes by um, they get into the whole editing thing and it doesn't look as raw as it used to be um, mine I believe is really raw because I keep doing shit wrong and I'm not editing anything I'm not taking out any of my information um, I just try to take down the videos and upload them as fast as I can because they're just starting to um, gather up I have a few more videos that need to be uploaded and then uh, for each one that I upload, I record another one and then upload, record another one, so on and so forth. It just keeps happening like that. But anyways, if you guys have any comments or anything like that or advice, please let me know. And uh, if you like what I do, you know, positive encouragement is really good. Um, being negative about everything and saying rude things to folks you know that that doesn't achieve anything so if you got anything positive to say I'd like to see or hear that too so you guys enjoy your day and I'm going to eat tacos I will show you what I'm eating whenever I get there right now I gotta get through okay traffic is dying down so we are at what is that Copenville and US 8-6 bypass 64 bypass anyway bull weevil circle that's what it is there's Enterprise Alabama let's see that's just a city truck 41474 MU which is uh, municipal again but anyways y'all have a good day I will see you at the taco truck.